Hello everybody, welcome to Whiskey Business. Today, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I don't know why my voice just cracked like Peter Brady or Bobby Brady, whichever Brady character it was. If you're young, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know why my voice just cracked, but anyway. Today we're gonna be making, I, norm I normally do like a pasta or a one pot dish or a side dish, but today we are gonna be making the whole shebang. I got crispy chicken thighs that we're gonna be roasting along with vegetables. We've got broccoli, carrots, a big old fat sweet potato, onion, garlic, and Brussels sprouts. Now, if you don't like these vegetables, you can switch them out. But if you've never had them roasted, please try them this way. I've got friends and family who hated a lot of these vegetables. And the first time they had them roasted, um, they were hooked. So they taste so much better while they're roasted. I know my Brussels sprouts are hidden behind my, my whiskey. <laughs> it might make you like them a little bit more. Um, and then we're also gonna be doing braised white beans. And you'll need some olive oil and chicken broth and garlic and rosemary for that. You can use butter or ghee instead of olive oil. Um, and all you're gonna need to cook these in, a pot for the beans, and then a roasting pan with a wire rack on top. So you can put that chicken and that nice chicken, chicken fat's gonna drip down onto those veggies and help roast them and help make them so delicious. And I like a little lemon um, to sprinkle over my chicken, to drizzle over my chicken rather, and in my veggies and we're gonna put them in the beans. So get yourself a lemon or two and some rosemary and garlic, lots of garlic. Uh, for our whiskey today, we've got Rowan's Creek. I have had this one before in some of my videos. It comes from the Willet Distillery and I even have my little Willet Glencairn glass. So we're gonna be probably finishing this off. Not a whole lot left. I got my sous chef, Bruno, ready. You got, you ready, Bruno? Got your apron, got your knives, good to go. So let's get sipping, let's get cooking. I'm gonna start by cutting up all my veggies. I'm gonna probably roast them for a little bit longer than my chicken. Uh, we want these to go at a really high heat and so I want my chicken to come to room temperature. You don't wanna put cold chicken into a really hot oven and my veggies can sit, cut up, and just chill until I'm ready to put that in. Um, if your sweet potato starts to get some spots on it when you cut it up, you can soak it in some cold water with a little lemon juice and that'll keep it from browning until you're ready to cook it. So I'm gonna cut everything up and let that sit for a bit. I'll probably put it in the oven for a little bit before I add my chicken, just to make sure they get fully roasted and aren't still slightly underdone. You know, they can cook a little bit longer. So let's get started on cutting everything up. So I like getting the baby carrots because I don't have to cut those up. If they're the bigger ones, like a few of these, I cut in half, but literally you're just gonna quarter your onions and then the pieces fall apart like that. And then those baby carrots just throw in. But you can use whole carrots um, just for lack of wanting to chop everything. I just buy the baby carrots and then they roast down just fine. For my Brussels sprouts, all I do is cut them in half. You don't have to chop the ends off. And if you get these little leaves that fall off, that's fine. They're gonna get nice and crispy and tasty. No need to cut them up any further unless you got really, really big ones. You might wanna quarter them. Otherwise, just cut them in half. And I only have about half of the bag. My broccoli, all I do is cut these florets in half. If they're tiny, like these little guys, you leave them whole, everything else cut in half. That way, um, you know, you got even sized pieces and the shorter they are, the smaller they are, the faster they are gonna cook, but you don't want them too small that they just turn to charred mush. So just cut your florets in half. And then if you have begging doggies, you give them your ends. Come here, Bella. Come on. There we go. For my sweet potatoes, I'm just cutting them up into these little bite sized pieces like this. Again, just like the broccoli. You don't want them too big that they don't get cooked, but you don't want them too small that they cook down into mush. Lastly, I'm just gonna add some whole cloves of garlic. I wanna smash them enough to get the peel off, but not too much to break them actually apart. I wanna leave them fairly whole so that they're nice and roasted as well and give a nice good flavor, especially when you stir it. Lastly on this, I am just going to very lightly drizzle with olive oil. 
Uh, if you have an olive oil spray, I suggest doing that. The more liquid you put on these, the less they're gonna roast and the more they're going to cook and get soft, but without that crispy roastedness. Plus, remember, they're gonna have the chicken fat come down on them, so you don't need to add a lot of olive oil. Just a little spritz, and we're also gonna drizzle a little bit of lemon juice at the end. I also threw in some broken up rosemary and just salt and pepper. We're gonna put these in the oven at 425 and let them cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna take them out, stir them up, bring it down to 400, and then put our chicken thighs on top. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. My veggies are getting nice and roasted. You could probably see that steam coming off of them. Take a look, you can start to see a little bit of char coming on. I gave them a quick stir. And now we're gonna go over to our chicken thighs. I'm gonna lightly drizzle some olive oil on them. And then I'm gonna just put this rub on top of the skin. No need to put it on the underside. And this is just a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, pepper, fresh rosemary, and some Rockfire smoked sea salt. You can just get some regular smoked sea salt. This came from um, up in the mountains in Blowing Rock, not far from where we are in Charlotte. Really great stuff. If you don't have that also, you can get smoked paprika, get somewhat of the same kind of thing. Dried rosemary would work just as well. Ironically, the store didn't have it, so we went with fresh. So I'm just gonna drizzle and rub that on there, pop them right onto the veggies, and then they're gonna go at 400 for about 35 to 45 minutes. My chicken is all ready to go. One other little tip, um, before you add your olive oil and your seasoning onto this, you really wanna pat your chicken dry with just a paper towel, get all that extra um, condensation moisture from whatever being in the package off of it. That way your uh, skin is gonna get nice and crispy. So we're gonna put this in for about 35, 45 minutes. They're not, you know, thoroughly huge chicken thighs, so they're probably not gonna take too long. You just wanna make sure, obviously, that they're cooked all the way through. For my beans, I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of olive oil, just a tiny little bit at the bottom of my pot, and some onion and garlic in this. Uh, you could do red onion or shallots, those would be perfect. For some reason, I just didn't even think about it today, and I didn't see them at the store, so we're just gonna go ahead and use a sweet onion. So I chopped about four or five uh, cloves of garlic and one teeny tiny little sweet onion up into super fine little pieces. They're gonna break apart there. And then we're gonna just cook them in the bottom of that pot for just a few minutes before we add our beans um, and broth. I had two sprigs of rosemary that I just roughly chopped and I saved a little tiny bit for garnish on the end and the bulk of that. We are now gonna add to our onions and garlic and then we're gonna add our beans and about one and a fourth cup of chicken broth. Now, if you were making this as a side dish for somebody who's vegetarian, you could do vegetable broth. Um, you know, you can do that in the future also if you're not trying to do chicken broth. Um, either would work just fine. Add a quick stir, I'm gonna let this cook for about 30 more seconds, and we will add two cans of drained white northern beans. Okay, I've got my beans and my broth in. I added just a little bit of coarse sea salt and fresh cracked pepper, and you're gonna cook that on medium heat for about 15 minutes and until that liquid all cooks down. Okay, I've got about six to 10 minutes left on my chicken, but these beans are pretty much done. As you can see there, I have grated some fresh lemon into this. I did it a little bit ago, maybe five, 10 minutes ago, stirred it up, added just a little bit more. That really gives it a nice brightness and freshness and a little bit of acidity to it. And we're just gonna keep this on low until the chicken is done. And then when it's done, we're gonna add that uh, extra bit of rosemary and a tiny little bit of fresh grated parm. You can also add a little bit of lemon juice to that as well. Stir, you just wanna make sure that you stir this throughout the cooking process and once it's done so that those beans don't stick to the bottom of the pot. And our chicken is done. You can see those veggies have a nice good char on them. Chicken is looking perfectly uh, delicious and crispy and still a little bit moist there. So we're gonna take the chicken off and not cover it because I don't want that skin to get soft. I want it to stay crispy. But I'm gonna add just a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon, give that a stir, and then we can plate up. So I just gave a quick little uh, zhuzh of lemon juice and gave them a stir mixed with that chicken fat. And you can see how nice and perfect and roasted and glistening they are. They are gonna be perfect. And there we have our final product. So, uh, like I said, this is a nice, great, comforting, 
uh, comfort meal. Use comfort twice, but that's okay. It's that comforting. You can say it twice. So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like. Any suggestions for future recipes? Please like, please share, hit that subscribe button. If not for me, for poor sad Bruno. So see you guys next time. Enjoy.